living, living, just enough, living, just for the city. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today, we're going to be talking about DDG, Ruby Rose, Nate Wet Watt, Liat, or whatever, in the boxing round, boxing match. I don't know if I'm going to post this today or I'm going to post this tomorrow. If I post it tomorrow, then the fight happened yesterday. If I post it today, it's happening today on Saturday. But either way, I'm not watching it. I'm I'm not interested in watching YouTubers and TikTokers fight. I will watch the highlights, though, but not interested. Definitely after the Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul mishaps. Like, bro, that was kind of garbage. But, I mean, it wasn't. I mean... I'm glad Floyd got his money. I'm glad Floyd got his bag. That's all I'm glad about. But watching it as a boxing fan, like, that was not the standard at all. Like, it wasn't, no, that wasn't it. But, uh, yeah, let's talk about Ruby Rose and DDG. Are they back together or are they not? The reason why I'm even covering this is because, obviously, y'all love the DDG. Uh, y'all love DDG. That's my most clicked video. DDG, Blueface, which I'm going to start covering Blueface too. Pretty much the stuff that I see a whole bunch of views that I get, I'm going to be covering them. So just know that. I'm just, I'm going to start doing new new stuff on my channel. But DDG and Ruby Rose, they are here to stay because those are always my most viewed videos. And y'all love DDG. So this is why I'm talking about him. He's going to be facing Nate. Nate, we out today. I'll get back to Ruby Rose. I'm sorry. He's going to be facing Nate, we out. Nate today. I'm just going to call him Nate. And it looks like it might be entertaining. They did the weigh-in and, you know, they was kind of talking mess. He said, you about to get your ass slept, boy. <sighs> DDG is talking a whole bunch. And I hope to God, DDG, bro. Listen, the thing is, I seen, I seen Cud kind of fight. I see him lock up a little bit. It look like he got, look like he got some hands. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. It look like he got some hands. Like, I don't think he gonna disappoint us. But I'm telling you this right now, bro. You putting on like you're not putting on for black people, but you're representing us in this YouTube TikTok thing. So I don't see too many black people on there. I only seen you. Well, you're the only major one that people care about. So I but everyone else, I think they're either white or Hispanic or something like that. I don't know. I don't I didn't see another any other person that was black. Let me know in the comments if there's someone else that's black in the that's fighting i don't know but the only person i care about on this thing is ddg so if you fighting ddg you got to make sure you represent us and remember you my age so around my age so i'm 26 i think you're 24 so yeah bro like you gotta put like you gotta make sure you you make us look good having that being said i don't think nate's gonna win we just gonna see but having that being said let me let me get back to the ruby rose Ruby Rose saw Nate in the mall and she posted a vlog about it. And basically she said on the title of the video, ran into my ex op at the mall. And then when she was actually on the video, she said, hey, you're Nate, right? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, oh, you're going to be fighting my boyfriend to get tomorrow or today or something like that this weekend. And then he was like, yeah. And then she was like, oh, have you been training? He was like, yeah, I've been training. Um... And she's like, well, my, my boyfriend's been training also. She made sure she inserted the boyfriend about three, four times. So she was like, yeah, my boyfriend's going to be training as well. And she was like, well, great. That means it should be a great match. And then she was like, all right, well, may the best man win, my boyfriend. And he laughed, and then they walked off. So, and she walked off. I mean, he walked off. So I don't know if they're together or not. Here's the thing I keep telling y'all. Like, they be putting up a facade for this internet, and I really feel like they get a kick off of us guessing and stuff like that. Again, I wouldn't be covering this because I don't care about their relationship. As long as they happy and as long as no, no charges is getting pressed, they can do whatever they want. They can be single, together, in a situationship. It don't matter. As long as they happy and as long as they're, as long as they're happy and safe. That's all that matters. That's all I care about. That's all that matters. But... Since y'all want to be, since the fans want to be so nosy and interested in their relationship, right now we don't know. I think they're together, but because I'm just going off of her words, 
You feel me, right? Actions speak louder than words. Her actions was saying boyfriend. Her words spoke my ex. So the actions is that. Now people are trying to piece up something together because she was on Instagram and she posted like a video of her like in like booty shorts and stuff like that. And she was like in the mirror and it looked like that was DDG's actual house. So don't really know. Like it's either it's either that's her i think that that might have been his house i'm gonna be wanted that's probably his house because she was being real like that was probably his house i ain't gonna lie so i think she was posted up at the house then she posted not she but ddg actually post a a story or no was it she or her i think it was her Damn, I forgot what it was. I think she posted, I think she posted a, a, a video of a guy, I mean a picture of a guy sleeping on the bed. And it looked like it was in Miami. Now, mind y'all, you already know the fight's in Miami, so DDG right now is in Miami, and supposedly Ruby Rose is in LA. So if she's in Miami, then obviously she's still with She's definitely still with DDG and she's going to the boxing match, but I don't know. They keep us guessing. They keep us on our toes. Well, I tell you this, we will find out because most likely they're probably going to, when the the fight's actually happening of DDG, they're going to post the, fr uh, the family and friends that's going to the fight and they'll probably pan over there. And if she's not in the section, then most likely she didn't come to the fight. But you know, Ruby, she'd probably be like, conspicuous and probably like be in the back so i don't know i don't know i don't know y'all i'm just one man i can't figure it out but either way what's y'all predictions on these fights do y'all think nate's gonna beat ddg or you think ddg is gonna be nate i think ddg is gonna put hands on nate why because he black <laughs> two because i've seen him kind of fight he not he not like no he not he not doing all this and stuff like that it look like bro it look like he can lock he can lock he can lock so I think uh I think he'd be alright. I think he'd be alright. He also was he made an IG live talking about, you know, you've been running track and stuff like that, but you can't run track in the ring because it's a square. <laughs> so you gotta see me. <laughs> that dude is hilarious. He told everyone to make sure if you want to double up or triple up your money to bet on him. I wonder if he's an undercard. Ooh. I wonder I mean I wonder if he's the, the underdog. Ooh, actually, you know what? DDG might actually just, he might have put some. If he if he's an underdog, so just to let y'all know how this betting thing works, if if people are favoring Nate to win, then that means DDG's an underdog. So that means he can have a three to one ratio. So basically, if someone bets, if you bet $300 on him, or what is it, three to one ratio, basically you can double up your money. That's pretty much saying, pretty much it. So if he's an underdog, y'all definitely want to bet on the underdog because no matter what, if he actually wins, then that means his money, your money's going to double up. So if you put a hundred dollars in, instead of getting a hundred back, you'll get three hundred dollars back. That's a three to one, three to one ratio. So hopefully, that's the case. But uh, we gonna see, we gonna see. That's a prediction. Let me know who y'all think gonna win. Leave in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. All right, I will see y'all next time. All right. Living. Living just enough